This video is 60 years in the making, and it's because uh, as a Cub Scout, this is my actual Cub Scout manual, I uh, built a crystal radio and I found uh, some issues with it. And so many years later, I made a video called the Modified Boy Scout Crystal Radio. And it looks like this. So that's the final result. Let's go over why I'm making this video. The reason is because the page from the book, and this is an actual page from the book, uh, this is what I built mine from. In fact, it looks, my, my original one looks remarkably like this. So it's a toilet paper tube, the windings, uh, a piece of flat metal. I think I used brass at the time, some washers and uh, made my own condenser per their instructions. Uh, this is an old style earphone, which is why you need the condenser. The new ones, you need a resistor. That's not the modification I'm talking about today. Uh, that modification has to do with this wire right there. So I've drawn the diagram. Here I've got the antenna, which is right there in their picture. Here is the ground, which is there. And the antenna then goes through the coil, which is there. It goes across here to the earphones. So there, earphones. Uh, their condenser, and then it goes through the uh, detector, which is, in this case, a Galena detector. I just use the diode symbol. And then across here to the wiper, and across there to the wiper, and then from the wiper to the ground, and wiper this way to the ground. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this red wire is the thing that I have changed. That's the biggest modification. So let's take a look at that. And this is what we looked at just a second ago. Uh, and if we look over here, we have the antenna. Antenna goes, passes through the coil, through the coil, same way. Uh, this way towards the earphone. Okay, this way towards the earphone. We have the earphone here, and we have the resistor there. We have the diode, comes down here to the wiper, diode to the wiper, and then onto the ground, onto the ground. Now, uh, my assertion is that this wire that was here, the wire shown in red, is unnecessary. And in fact, what I found as a kid, that this wire actually caused the radio not to work. And I was very disconcerted at the time. I kind of wondered how many kids would build this radio and then it didn't work. It would be discouraging. And frankly, this radio is what got me interested in electronics. So I kind of wonder how many kids, uh, you know, lost that same path. But my experience at the time, my whole electronic experience at the time was a light bulb, a wire, and a battery. And, and that's all I knew about it. But somehow I knew that this wire was causing a short across this so uh, this is the internet. I should not make an assertion unless I prove it. So let's go over to the bench and we will hook this radio up. We'll put in this wire, we'll take out this wire and we'll see which way it works better. Okay, let's go do it. This is our typical crystal radio setup. We have our antenna wire coming in here. We have our ground wire here. The oscilloscope is looking at the difference across the, the uh, detector, which is in this case a diode. Uh, but it's basically showing you what I'm hearing. And you can see that over here. It's a woman talking. So let's see what happens uh, when we connect in the red wire, which is what was in the original diagram from the uh, Cub Scout manual. And yeah, nothing. Voice, nothing. I mean, it goes totally dead. Uh, I don't hear anything, not even static. So yeah. Um, just no question. This was, uh, I, I don't know what happened, why someone would have drawn in the extra wire, but it absolutely does not work that way. So hopefully if anybody is designing a radio from the original picture, they will see this and they will say, no, that's not going to happen. Otherwise it explains why I call my version the modified Boy Scout crystal radio because yeah, I leave out this wire. Okay. Well, that was it for this explanation of why I call it modified and why that wire is missing. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your crystal radio experimentation.